time now to go to Mike Augustinak in the Weather Center, and the sun is out. It looks fabulous. It does. It, uh, it's another day where we have hit at least 40 degrees, officially at the airport, 40 right now. Again, that west wind set to pick up in the next short while. So temperatures will be about the same today as they were yesterday, and that means that we get two days in a row of 40 plus. The last time we did that in the Twin Cities was last year, December 21st and 22nd. We had a two day stretch of 40 or warmer in the Twin Cities. Now again, winds will be a factor today. It will not feel quite as mild as yesterday did because of that. And in fact, temperatures are actually going to be cooler in northern Minnesota today than they were yesterday. We'll talk about those afternoon highs in about 30 seconds here. Slow cooling trend will return us to highs in the 20s coming up by the time we hit the middle and especially the end of this coming week. But for now, we have another very quiet day high pressure uh, in control clouds and some snow flurries north of the border a few low clouds earlier today across Wisconsin have since gone away and there actually is a cool front that's trying to work its way in it has actually but it has no moisture to work with from a rain or snow perspective and very little even from a cloud perspective so temperature 40 now in Westbrook 44 in Brainerd bit cooler from Otter Tail to Melrose tomorrow where it's 35, 38 in Blaine and in Amory and in Pine Island and our weather watchers uh, in Northfield reporting 37. Again, the breeze will continue to pick up here in the Twin Cities Metro, southern Minnesota and Wisconsin over the next two to four hours. Already it's been blowing anywhere as high as 15 to 20 at sometimes 25 miles an hour in northern Minnesota. And you see that in the forecast here. The wind and temperatures there today in the mid 30s as opposed to upper 30s, low 40s. And actually we had some 50s yesterday. Grand Rapids was one of those communities that got into the low 50s today, about 10 degrees cooler. Still Although not bad for this time of year. Again, 43 the expected high in the afternoon here in the metro, even a little bit milder across Wisconsin. We'll see overnight lows tonight that will be sort of typically mild for this time of year. Our average overnight low is still right around 10, so almost double that or a little more than double that here in the Twin Cities. Then tomorrow, back to work and school with temperatures that will be cooler than today. You'll notice the difference, but it won't be a huge difference, about 35, and that is still above our average high for this time of year, and really everybody tomorrow will have a fairly seasonable day. A few more clouds coming into the afternoon uh, or during the afternoon to western Minnesota as high pressure that starts the day will weaken and move off to the east. As that happens, that will start to reconfigure the overall weather setup. We have two storms to watch that should remain separate. The first, a big moisture source here to our south, the other what's called a kicker coming in out of Canada. This will push this this way. The question, though, is whether or not these two have any interaction. If this storm here to the west pulls this storm a little further to the west, which is possible, we could see the snow that you see on the northwestern fringe build in closer to us here in Minnesota and Wisconsin. There is a small chance, like a 20 or 30 percent chance, of some very light shovelable snow across the extreme southern or southeastern part of Minnesota, mainly Monday night into Tuesday. And we could see some flurries here as well. But again, that's probably not going to happen. The more likely scenario is we just see a few flakes and there are the 20s for the end of the week into the weekend. Again, a cool down, but not cold for this time of year. Looks pretty good. Thanks, Mike. All right.